Hey everyone, in this video I will be showing you uh, how to use Reader uh, and we will start with the really the use case of it rather than uh, exploring theory of it. So I want to first show you how to uh, use the Reader, where to use it. So let's take an example here. Uh, you can see our uh, code starts with this function, it's called uh, fake me. Uh, here we are declaring three variables, db password, max length, username. Um, you know, in usually in actual production code, this might be coming from uh, some environment. Uh, it would be our secrets, it would be our environment variables, uh, or maybe uh, from somewhere else. Uh, then we are called then we are passing all these three variables to a function called get and add user. Uh, we are passing db pass, max line, username. We are saying hello to the username and asking the user to give some names to add it into the database. Uh, we are taking it from the uh, command line, from the standard output. Uh, then we are checking the length if it is valid or not. Uh, if it is length is valid, we will uh, calling another function called add name where we are passing the name that we get from standard input and we are also passing in uh, the tv pass string. Now uh, here we are obviously checking whether the password is correct or not and we are printing it as sort of indication that yes we have added this entry in the database or whatever and we are passing uh, the db password again to another function called add log as you say uh, sort of like uh, making an entry in the log table so when we are taking the password if it is we are sort of uh, printing that yes the entry has been uh, added so let's try running it import the module okay so it is good now the problem with this uh, scenario this code is that uh, you can see we are pass uh, we are taking this db password variable and we are passing it to this function get and add user but in this entire function we are not using it at all we are only using it uh, to pass this uh, variable to the next function that is add name in add name we are using it and again we are passing this uh, variable to the next function that is add log so it is uh, giving uh, it is a bit in inefficient because first of all we have to pass in this variable because uh, in get and add user because we have to pass in to the next functions also uh, there are there will be multiple functions where we need to pass this variable compulsorily so in other programming in other imperative programming languages we would have the concept of global variables where we can just declare it uh, somewhere up and all the other functions can start uh, can use it obviously because in Haskell because of referential transpa uh, transparency we cannot uh, do that so a better idea uh, for this sort of a situation is to use reader now we will be directly using its transformer variant that is nothing but reader t uh, because reader t is simply more powerful uh, reader t is a way to uh, use the io actions i'll show you in a minute before that we need to in order to use reader we need to import its associated library that is control monarch reader ok 
Okay. And what we will do is we have this function. Instead of passing the DB password like this, we will have this entire function inside the reader, reader T. And we will give this reader T the DB as the other. Now this will give us an error and with this error itself we will uh, see what changes we want we should be. You can see that uh, that the definition on line number 14 of get and add user is that it is expecting the db password string and a string but we are only passing an integer and a string and so what we'll do we'll remove this string db password now it is asking where is db password because we are needing it here so this is where the reader will come in first of all we need to change the end signature we need to convert it into reader t uh, and we are passing here the db password which is of type string so it will be, it will be string and at the end it is returning an io action this and in order to extract db password we can use the function ask and it is now uh, giving error saying that since the uh, return type is not io unit anymore it is now reader t string it is expecting everyone to have the return type to be reader t string io so what we need to do is we need to use lift io to all the functions whose return type is io unit. Just like put strln get line um, put strln here and it is giving error here to add name. Now we will be changing add name here as well. We convert it into reader d and we don't need to have a db pass here we will explicitly get db pass then we don't need to pass great so again we have to do same we have to do left io for add you can see that uh, defined but not use on line number 60. So since we converted add name function into reader t string io uh, as well, we can see that we don't need to uh, use db pass here at all. So you can see because of using reader t uh, in this function we don't have to mention db pass anywhere where we are not using it and in add name and add log we again don't have to mention db pass in the uh, arguments as well so this was the use of uh, reader t let's quickly uh, see the type uh, of reader t and let's uh, write the counter applicative and monad instance of reader t to get comfortable and remove this uh, library so the type is something like this reader t it takes s it takes uh, some type r uh, and it returns a but this a will be wrapped inside some monadic context so you have reader t and uh, 
we can have some unwrapper function which has a reader t which will take r and it will return a which would be within the bar so that's all for today we'll see you in the next video thank you